Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems. Now I am going to solve this problem. In this problem again we are given the gusset plate and it is subject to the forces of three members and it is said that determine the tension force in member C. So we have to find this tension T in this member C and its angle theta for equilibrium right. So we have to find this theta with the force F right. And it is said that the forces are concurrent at point O, right? And take it is said that the magnitude of F is 8 kN, so we can write that this is 8 kN, right? And the angle of this force F is given in the form of this triangle, right? So this triangle has a hypotenuse of 5, base of 4, and perpendicular of 3, right? So this means that we know this angle, right? So let's say that if this angle is alpha, so then we can apply tan alpha to this triangle right so if we write that tan alpha will be equal to this uh, 3 divided by 4 so alpha will be equal to tan inverse 3 divided by 4 so alpha equals to 36.87 degrees right so now we know this angle this is 36.87 degrees now let's say that this tension T is making angle beta with this positive x axis is right. So now from this we can say that T theta will be equal to alpha plus beta. So we are required to find this theta since we know alpha so then we have to find this beta angle right. And since these three forces are in equilibrium so then we can say that the summation of forces along x will be equal to 0 and the summation of forces along y will be equal to 0 and this is our positive x direction and this is our positive y direction right. So for that we will resolve these three forces into its components. So first I will resolve this force F. So this force F will have one component in this direction right and this one will be the cos component if we consider this alpha and similarly this force F will have one component which will be acting vertically downward right. So this one is the sine component we can say that this is 8 sine of the magnitude of force is 8 right. So this is 8 sine of alpha which is 36.87 and this one is the cos component. So we will write 8 cos of 36.87 degrees and similarly this T uh, force will have two components as well right. So we will resolve this T into its components as well. So it will have one component in this direction right and it will have one another component which will be acting in the positive x direction right and if this is beta so then this angle is also beta these two are alternate angles right. So then this one is T cos of beta and this one is T sine of beta. So now if I first apply this equation the summation of forces along y equals to 0. So then as we can see that this 9 kN force is acting in the positive y direction so we will write plus 9. This sine component of this t is acting in the negative direction so I will write minus t sine of beta and similarly this component is acting in the negative y direction so again we will write minus 8 sine of 36.87 equals to 0 and if we bring this t sine beta to the other side of the equation so this will become plus t sine of beta. So this is uh, equation 1 right both t and, si and beta angle are unknown right. So let's say this is equation 1. Now we if we apply uh, the summation of forces along x equals to 0. So if we apply this so then as we can see that this cause component of this t is acting in the positive x direction. So we can write that this is t cos of beta which is acting in the positive direction and similarly this cos component is acting in the negative x direction. So we will write minus 8 cos of 36.87 degrees which will be equal to 0 and we can say that t cos of beta is equal to 8 cos of 36.87 degrees and this will be equal to 0 right and we can rearrange this equation 1 as well right. So if we write t sine of beta equals to so then this will be our equation 1 and let's say this is our equation 2. So now if we divide equation 1 by 2 so then we will have t sine of beta equation 
1 divided by equation 2. So, we will get this. So, T sin of beta divided by T cos of beta and this will be equal to 9 minus 8 sin of 36.87 divided by 8 cos of 36.87 degrees and this t will cancel out and sine by cos is equal to 10 beta. So, from this we get 10 beta equals to 0.656 and beta will be equal to 10 inverse 0 0.656 and beta comes out to be 33. 27 degrees right so this is 33.27 degree this is beta so now we know this beta so we can find this theta angle which is required in the problem right so theta is alpha plus beta so alpha is 36.87 plus 33.27 degrees so this theta equals to 70.7 one four degrees right so this is that required theta and now we want to find this t as well so we can uh, substitute that theta value in this equation too right so if we substitute uh, the beta value in this equation too so then t will be equal to eight cos of 36.87 degrees divided by cos of beta and beta is 33.87 to 7 degrees. So, this T equals to 7.65 kilonewton, right? So, this is the solution of this particular problem.